Hi everyone, Jason Santos here, Senior Technical Engineer with Raw Devices. We have been working hard to stay ahead of the curve with the new refrigerant change. We have been testing and perfecting the APR control for R454B. Several major manufacturers have also tested, approved, and are installing the APR controls for R454B equipment lines at the factory level as a manufacturer's specified part. Today we are going to show you how well the APR control performs and how it modulates your HVAC system's capacity to match real-time demand on our R454B unit right here in our shop. We've got our R454B demo unit fired up and ready to go. This is a four-ton split heat pump. We'll be running it through three different load scenarios, low, medium, and high fan speed to demonstrate how the APR control provides capacity modulation and keeps things running smoothly. Using our field piece complete job probe kit, we'll be keeping a close eye on key metrics like capacity, suction pressure, suction temperature, and superheat at the compressor. Uh, and for our airflow readings, we use the Testo digital anemometer, which you will hear me refer to as our hot wire. All right, we're starting in a low load situation. We have our four ton unit, um, and we're providing 1200 CFM across the evaporator coil as measured by our hot wire or anemometer. So this four ton unit at this time is doing 1200 CFM, providing almost two tons, a little less than two tons of a ton and a half of capacity control. And that's on our four ton unit with the APR control active at low speed. And if you notice, um, we've got a 70, 70 degree return temperature and a 55 degree temperature coming out. Our delta T across the coil is 15.4, our suction pressure is 116, and our superheat for R54B is maintaining a nice 17 degrees um, by our APR control. Now we're going to switch this to a higher speed. It's going to be as measured by an anemometer. It is going to be 14. It's going to be 1450 CFM or medium speed on the unit. And as that medium speed obviously increases, well, notice our capacity increase. It can be just a little bit, increase just enough. And as the APR starts adjusting, it'll start settling out. I'm doing about two tons right now. If you notice, our supply temperature is just a little bit more. Our delta T is actually a little less, which is fine. Our suction pressure is still maintaining that 115, 118, and our superheat actually maintaining right about 20 degrees. If you notice, our evaporated suction temperature or our vapor saturation temperature really hasn't changed much. That's because the APR control is modulating to that temperature. And again, now our capacity is right about two tons. So let's turn that up uh, to its maximum speed on this four ton unit, which is actually 2000 CFM as measured by our hot wire. And let me change that. Notice our capacity significantly increasing. And let it settle down, it should increase a bit more. But even during all three phases of that, all three phases of those fan speeds, the low profiles, we're still maintaining our suction pressure at 116, our superheat at 20, and our saturated suction temperature still remaining at around 45, 44. Now, if you're wondering what's it like without the APR control, at 2000 CFM. I can turn my APR control off by that solenoid valve I installed. Now the APR control is off. We'll notice that capacity dramatically increasing. There it goes. And it'll eventually get up to four tons once it settles out. It may even go higher than that because of the um, our fan speed being about 500 CFM per ton and it just being cool in our test area here. But 
you can notice that supply temperature dropping dramatically, well below that 55. So it's actually doing more capacity than we would want it to do. 20 degree delta T, our suction, pre our suction pressures drop dramatically, our saturated suction temperatures drop dramatically, and our actual superheat's dropping. That's because of the expansion valve searching. But we can go back and look at our capacity again. Well above four tons. So that just specifies the need for the APR control. As you can see, the APR control for R454B modulates capacity just as efficiently as the R410A APR controls have done. Uh, if you want to learn more about the APR control in raw devices, uh, please visit our website or uh, just give us a call. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you have.